Hi, in this video, we will be discussing about data types and statement for Android application development using Java. So let's start with the data types. Different data types in Java. The data types in Java are divided into two groups, which is primitive data types and non-primitive data types. Primitive data type specifies, specifies the size and types of variables, values, and it has no additional methods. There are eight primitive data types includes byte, short, int, long, float, double, boolean, and char. Byte has one byte size to store whole numbers from 1 to, 1 to 8 to 1 to 7. Short has two bytes store whole numbers from 32768 to 32767 and has four bytes store whole numbers from 2147483648 to 2147483647 long eight byte size Store whole numbers from 9222375236854775808 Next is the float. Float has a 4 byte size. We store functional numbers sufficient for storing six to seven decimal digits. Next is the double. Double has eight bytes, which is store functional numbers sufficient for storing fifteen decimal digits. Boolean has one byte, which is store true or false values. Lastly, the char. Char has a two bytes size. You store a single character or letter or ESC2 values. Non-primitive data types also called reference type because they refers to an object. The main difference between primitive and non-primitive data types are non-primitive data types can be used to call methods to perform certain operation, while primitive types cannot. A primitive type has always have a value, while non-primitive types can, can be null. A primitive type start with a lower case letter, while non-primitive types start with the upper case letter. The size of primitive types depend on the data types, while non-primitive types has have all the same size. Next, the statement in Java. Statement or instruction that tell the programming language what to do, like declaration and string statement. A basic statement assign a value to a variable as shown below, like double your data type entry free and equals 15.75 with semicolon. So, all Java statements must end, end in a semicolon. This tells Java that it should attempt to process all information of the of up to the semicolon. Java supports three different type of statement: expression statement, declaration statement, and control flow statement. Expression statement means it has changes values of variables, call methods, and create objects. Declaration statement, it declares variables. Co lastly, the control flow statement, which is it determines the order that the statement are executed. Or, typically, Java statement parse from the top to the bottom of the program. However, with the control flow statement, that order can be interrupted. To implement branching or looping so that the Java program can run particular, particular section of code based on certain conditions. This is, this is the example of Java statement. 
which you can declare declaration statement which is, is nth number expression statement is number number equals four control flow statement is f with parameter number less than 10 with a open curly brace lastly is the expression statement which is the system out of print out that print ln number plus is less than 10 with close curly brace next is what is assignment in java in java assignment is the process of giving a value to a primitive types variable or giving an object reference an object type variable the equal signs act as assignment operator in java followed by the value to assign below are the are the assignment operator which is the additional assignment a subtraction assignment multiplication assignment division assignment and lastly the remind, reminder assignment to wrap the example of the assignment statement which is the first output which is the system that out print ang mo display ani is a primitive bytes assignment unya di ba close man ang close man ang quotation unya na ay may nakabuta nga plus b so iyang gita gitawag ang b kaning na ay byte b equivalent sa byte b is 25 man mao ang output ani nga line is primitive byte assignment is 25 so next is the system out print which is primitive byte assignment from another bytes variable plus c so unya close na uh, close na ang nakabutang ari kay gitawag nga ang c so ang byte c idang equals is b man so ang byte niya ani is kanang b nga naay ibabaw is equals 25 mao nang ang output ani nga line sa ikaduha nga system that out is 25 sad so next na pod sa next ta ani katulong nga line which is the system that out print print primitive and assessment from arithmetic operation ang output niya aning primitive and assignment from arithmetic operation unya unya iyang gitawag ang a so tiara and a equals 23 plus b man ang equivalent sa b ato makita ang byte b equals 25 so 25 equivalent sa equivalent sa b ang n a niya is 23 plus 25 is equal 48 so meaning ang idang output ani is ika, sa ikatulo nga line system that out is primitive in assignment from arithmetic operation is 48 so next is the implicit m Implicit casting of variable x and y. So, ang output sa system out that print implicit casting of byte to end. X man, so, iyang idang x niya and x equals b. So, ari na po sa byte b which is 25. So, kaning ikaupat nga line nga output idang output ani is 25 kaning impli implicit casting or bytes to and 25 ni kay kaning x nga idang gitawag x equals b man so makit ani mo ang bytes b is 25 ang value so idang output is 25 of impl implicit casting or byte to and 25 mao na sa line mo na sa output sa line 4 which is the which is the implicit implicit casting or of, of byte to end 25 so next is the system out print implicit implicit casting or short to end ang isang output the knee is isang output the knee is 45 kai 
Idang gitawag ang y, so nt y equals s, so ang s ni ja is a short s equals 45. So ang output is, uh, so ang output is implicit casting of short 2n is 45. Kay y man idang gitawag ang nt y equals s man ang value value sa s. Kay 45 man so ang output ni ja is 45. So, next line is the system out print addition, addition operator. Isang output na ni is 10. Kay, gitawag ang isang operator is i. Isang gitawag ang i, which is end i. Then, so, ang nakabutang ani kay i plus equals 10, bali, nag-add na si Ja o 10. So, bali, mahimo na siya o 20, ijang output kay ni by plus man si Ja. So, next is the system out print subtraction operator. Ay, gihapon ang ay ni Ja. Ay, gihapon. Ang ay ni Ja is 10 man, gihapon ang ay. So, 10 gapon iyang subtraction. Next is the system out, system out, system that out, print L and multiplication operator. Ay, git, ay, gitawag na pod. So, 10 man ang ay, diba? So, na ay asterisk equals 10. So, bali, git times ang 10 sa nga ay times 10 man maong 100 ang output. So, next is the division. System that out print LN division operator. Ang I niya is 10. Diba, sa multiplication, 10 times 10 is 100. Sa division, so, 10 divided by 100 is equals 10. So, 10 reminder 3 is 1. So, money is ang tanang output sa program. Kani, which is the primitive bytes assignment 25, primitive bytes assignment from another bytes variable 25, primitive end assignment from arithmetic operation 48, implicit casting of byte 2 and 25, implicit, implicit casting of short 2 and 45. Addition operator is 20. Subtraction operator is 10. Multiplication operator is 100. Division operator is 10. And, and lastly, reminder operation is 10. Money is ang whole nga output sa program. So, next is the Next is the expression in Java. What is expression in Java? Expression are building blocks of all Java program which are made up of variable, of variables, operators, and method invocation. The expression are created according to the syntax and evaluate to the single value. For example, if you want to convert miles to kilometer, we first need to know a mile is equal to 1.609344 kilometers. Now, let, let's suppose we want to convert 50 miles to kilometers. So, double, so double kilometers equal 50 times 1.609344 kilometers. So, in, in the above this statement, Kilometers 50 times 1.609344 kilometers is an expression and data types double is not part of an expression. Typically, except data types and semicolon form an expression. So, ex also expression example in Java. Expression example in Java, some more example of expression. 
n square equals 50 is a bold an expression. If you are using literal value, then except data types and semicolon is a part of expression. So, it's, so score equals 50 is an expression. So, another example expression. If score is, is equals equals 50 with open curly, bla, curly, curly brace system that out print, this is also an expression. So, if you are using control flow, if statement then component inside bracket is a part of expression so score plus plus 50 is an expression remember her braces and is not part of expression also for method component inside bracket is a part of expression so this is also an expression with curl with quotation is an expression Remember again, here also braces and is not part of expression. Next is the basic control structure, structure to be continued discussing with Jericho Bisaga. Basic control structures. Basic control structures are programming blocks that can change the path we take through those instructions. There are three kinds of basic control structures in Java. So first is conditional branches, which is used for choosing between two or more paths. There are three types of conditional branches in Java. The if, else, else if, and ternary operator, and switch. So loops. Loops that are used to iterate through multiple values or objects and repeatedly run specific code blocks. The basic loop types in Java are for, while, and do while. The third is branching statements, which are used to alter the flow of control in loops. There are two types of branching statements in Java, the break and continue. We have here the example of the different types of conditional branches in Java. The if, else, and else if is the most basic of control structures but can we also consider the very basis of decision making in programming. So while if can be used by itself, the most common use scenario is choosing between two paths with if or else. So you can see the example below. Next is the ternary operator. We can use ternary operator as a shorthand expression that works like an if or else statement. Let's see our if or else example again. So we can refactor this with an ternary as follows. So while ternary can be a great way to make our code more readable, it is always a good substitute for if or else. So next is the example of switch. We can see below how the switch used as the one of the type of conditional branches. When can we use loop? We can use loops when we need to repeat the same code multiple times in succession. It looks like this example below. This means both code blocks above will call method to repeat 50 times. So why do we need to use break? We need to use break to exit early from a loop. Just like what we see the code example below. Next is continue. Simply put continue means to skip the rest of the loop. You can see the example below.